Right, me again. So dy by dx tells you that you've differentiated something. I've got some notation to tell us to integrate something. And it's this funny squiggle and this dx. So these are the notation to tell us, can't spell, to integrate it. Okay. So that bit there is saying, haha, we need to integrate it. So the x to the half becomes x to the 3 over 2, over 3 over 2. So that's 2 thirds x to the 3 over 2. Then I've got 2 x to the 4 over 4, so that would be a half x to the 4 plus c. Yeah. So I've got no dy by dx equals or y equals that. I've just got that the answer to me integrating it is that. So there's some there for you to do. It's important to have a go at these. Um, right, so remember the x, well, this is a little bit confusing, put set of brackets around here. The integral sign tells you to integrate it. This dx tells you which letter to change. So I'm changing the x. So my 3x squared becomes 3x cubed over 3. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So that just gives me x cubed. And I've got p squared. So p is just a number. So add 1 to the power is minus 1 over minus 1. So what I've really got there is minus p squared over x or minus p squared x to the minus 1. And then q is just a number, so that just becomes qx plus c, plus c, there. So the only thing that makes it a bit weirder is the p and the q. Uh, so it's got letters instead. And it's just stressing the fact that the dx tells you which bit's changed. Right, so this first of all needs to be an index notation. It tells you that, I want to, I think. Uh, not quite sure what that's saying to be honest with you. Don't integrate till you're ready to integrate. If you integrate, integrate fine. Okay. So 2x to the minus 3 minus, is that the cube root? It's unfortunate that it's a three lots in the cube root. There we go. So I've put it in index notation. I'm not integrated yet, so now I'm going to integrate it. So it'll be 2x to the minus 2 over minus 2. So that'll be minus x to the minus 2. Then minus 3. Add 1 to the power is power 4 over 3. Divided by 4 over 3. Now they might think the freeze will cancel, but they don't do that. So I've got plus c's. So as a final answer to that expression, uh, you can read that. Kind of forget really, but potentially just looking at this on the phone and it's that small. So I've got minus x to the minus 2, minus 9 over 4, x to the power 4 over 3 plus c. Uh, <laughs> what's going on with this one? That's mad. What's going on here? So this one we've made sure it was an index form. This one we want to make sure that we've expanded and simplified. We want singular terms for it. So I'm integrating. So I've got 4x squared there. Uh, this one, I'm going to see as root x over x squared. So that would be x to the half divided by x squared. So that would be x to the minus 3 over 2. And then I've got plus 5 over x squared. So that would be plus 5x to the minus 2. Now that minus 3 over 2 is a bit of a problem. Uh, so we have x to the minus 3 over 2. 5x to the minus 2. Yes. So that's going to be 4x cubed over 3. So you can do it as all over 3, or you can do it as a fraction. I quite like fractions. Yeah. 
turn, we go and add one to the power, it's minus a half. We divide it by minus a half. So if we divide by minus a half, that's the same as tangent by minus two. And then five x to the minus one over minus one. So that's kind of like it's like well, I'll do it as minus five x to the minus one. So it's minus five over x plus c plus c. So I get four thirds x cubed minus two x to the minus a half minus five x to the minus one plus c. With all those ones at the side there for you to have a go at. So if you'd done those ones on the U questions for you that you try. So look. You can double check against your answers, can't you? There. Right. Is that actually working? Yeah, it is. Okay, so there's one more, and then you go on to. Um, uh, ignore that. Back a plot. Ignore it. Leave it as it is. Just leave the number in front, it's fine. Right. Okay, what's next? There must be some consolidation questions there. Right, consolidation questions, so that's quite good. <laughs> 